Some of my previous videos were about why HCR2 is getting worse and less popular. But since then, I've noticed Hill Climb Racing 2 getting better and better in many aspects. And today, we will talk about it. So, let's get started. First, I'm going to talk about masteries, since the situation with them has changed. So, you probably remember when I was saying that a lot of people are angry, because they'll lose a lot of their world records due to masteries. However, the situation has changed. People really like masteries now, because they can be very satisfying to play with. Plus, people with a huge garage power finally have something to do other than upgrading their parts. The only bad thing about masteries is that they're sometimes too powerful. Fortunately, Fingersoft have nerfed some of them, such as Bus and Moonlander. I would be very happy if the Eco Thrust glitch was still here, but, well, it was too powerful. Now, let's move on to progression. So, a few years ago, Fingersoft changed the system of getting adventure maps. Now you need to grind adventure tokens. Many players were very unhappy because obtaining one map could take up to several weeks, but Fingersoft also decided to include them in public events and the featured challenges. However, now you can watch an ad to get double the number of tokens before playing an adventure chest run, and after you lose a game, you can double them again with another ad. Speaking of adventure, Fingersoft added a key radar that helps you find all hidden keys. Just watch an ad, and you'll have that radar for the rest of your round. The requirements of the blueprints to get a vehicle have also changed. Before, you had to get 250 tokens, which was just crazy. Players, especially the new ones, were really mad at Fingersoft for this. The game developers quickly decided to add them also in public events, and not only in the daily tasks. However, players were still angry, so Fingersoft decided to lower the limit to just 100 blueprints. New players are really happy now, because they don't have to grind for weeks to get a vehicle like Monowheel. You can also get some vehicles from getting Adventure Stars. And although the requirements for them are still the same, they're now easier to get, because you can get new Adventure Maps and some vehicles faster. The only vehicles that haven't received any big changes are the vehicles from public events, but I don't even have any ideas for them. However, the featured challenges have received a change in terms of grinding and pay to win. Now, if you lose all your free attempts, you can try again with gems. Previously, you had to buy tickets with real money or wait for the next free tries. But now, you can buy tickets with gems. You can even buy infinity tickets for a week for 400 gems. I know it's a lot for some people, but for the legendary look, it might be worth it. However, we should also raise the subject of pay to win. As you know, almost every game needs to earn money to create new updates. Some games contain a lot of ads, but in Hill Climb Racing 2, the monetization is mainly focused on digital products such as paints for vehicles. The best-selling products in HCR2 are VIP and skins and paints. But can we get any advantage from them? Well, thanks to VIP, we can grind faster. But as I said before, we got a lot of changes that help us grind faster than before. But what about skins and paints? Well, not many people know it, but they can change the physics in the game. They're mainly formula paints and items for skins. But fortunately, Fingersoft have started adding a lot more skins and paints to public events and season pass, so we can get some of them even as a free-to-play player. Recently, Hill Climb Racing 2 partnered with a game called Super Bomberman R2. There was a special public event that HCR2 organized specifically for this collab. This event started on 25th of September and ended at 2nd of October, but we received some offers with some skins related to this collab before. So, this event is exactly a mix of Hill Climb Racing 2 and Super Bomberman R2. Your object is to get these blue ghosts from breaking blocks and get the fastest time possible. To break blocks, you need to collect TNT. You will find it on the ground. In my opinion, this event is honestly really good, because it also contains a free legendary skin, along with garage decorations. Wow, I hope we will get more collabs in the future. The only thing that hasn't changed is the community aspect. The community managers only occasionally chat with players, although they should, since only moderators talk with players. But their main job is to moderate the official Fingersoft Discord server, not develop the game. But almost every moderator is also a pit crew. And as you probably know, they test new updates before they're released. But even though there are many of them, the game developers still sometimes add something too powerful, like Nitro or CCEV. Not too long ago, we got an interesting glitch with Moonlander's Mastery. With Masteries, you could get twice the fuel consumption when flying with thrusters. But with normal upgrades, you can make the thrusters perform worse, but they'll consume less fuel. Thanks for this. Players managed to fly with Moonlander for 90 seconds before running out of fuel. 
Luckily, Fingersoft patched it, but there are still a lot of records on the leaderboards. Also, the bus masteries were too OP when they were released, but I heard Fingersoft nerfed them. For the end, I have a category where nothing has changed, but I have some ideas. This category are the custom tracks. The custom tracks are created for fun only, and no one who creates them will receive any future rewards. But some people work really hard to make better and better maps. In my opinion, Fingersoft should add rewards for how many times someone plays your map. However, to avoid farming reward on a flat map using an alternate account, any attempt from the same IP address as the creator of that map won't count. So, we've gone through every major thing that most HCR2 players talk about. I think Hill Climb Racing 2 is starting to get better again. We've received some changes about the progression that make a lot of new players happy, but we've also got some other things such as masteries and a collab, which make the older players less bored. I hope HCR2 will receive better and better updates in the future.